drop just moments away. Quick thought before we get things underway here in the postseason. The veterans will be excited. The rookies will be so nervous as they all get set to drop the puck for the first time in the playoffs this year. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Made the stop on that play. Hellebuck's job is not just to stop the puck, but get it out of danger. He does that here. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Air mails it. Did he ever? He's got to bring that down a couple of feet. Quick feed to Shifley. Puck grab by McDavid. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Offside is the call that will have a faceoff just outside the offensive zone. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Up along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. The Jets gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Taken along the wall by Shifley. And now he moves it to DeMello. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Oh boy, here comes a three on one. Takes a shot, and that one's turned away. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Gets it over to Shifley. Quick feed to Connor. Wax it into the offensive zone. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And it's kicked away. Move to the middle. Takes a bank in front. Great pad save. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. And now it's over to Yamamoto. Handles the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Puts it to the front of the net. Oh, he scores his first career playoff goal. Different level of excitement, James. You score in the regular season, that's one thing. You get another one in the playoffs, and you are pumped. Game one is such a critical game in any series. While teams are feeling each other out, it's kind of nice to get the first goal. has got to jump in their step tonight as they strike early. Well, that's going to help as well, James. Now you've got the lead. The guys feel good about themselves, and they can attack with the cushion of a one-goal lead. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he whiffs on it. Can't connect. And now he angles it across to Yamamoto. Here's a shot with the stop. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. The Oilers win the faceoff. The Jets will play it in their own end. Lowry's got it along the wing. Here's a shot! No good! That's a little bit of panic. The puck is on his stick. He's in the middle of the ice, and he misses the net. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Looks to pass it to Neal. They've got numbers. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. The Jets have been penalized, holding the call. Player's got a little bit of a beef here, but when you reach out with your arm, that signals to the official to keep a closer look. It's a penalty no matter how you shine it these days. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Coaches always talk about the importance of excellent special teams. You don't necessarily have to score, but you can gain some momentum. Receives the pass. Takes the shot, and that's blocked. Moves it quickly over to Pugliarvi. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Winnipeg's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. Stop that one. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Grabs control of it at the point. Picked up along the boards by Puyo Yarby. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. 
He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? Big opportunity coming up with a five-on-three man advantage. Hey, you got a chance to score on the five-on-three. Attack early. Maybe you get one quickly. Puck slid down the ice. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed from his own end. Love the... Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. Periously close. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. As we look at this again, this is why you never give up on a play. The goalie is out of the play, yet all of a sudden, he's not. What a save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 1-0 the score. Winnipeg's got the puck shorthanded. They get it out of the defensive end. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Nice feed from the right wing. Picks off the feed. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Nice pass. And he takes a shot, and that's blocked away. Here's a shot. Turris in the corner now. Breaks up the play with a poke check. Solid shorthanded performance there as both teams are now back to even strength. A lot of head shaking on the bench when you go back after a power play like that. Well executed, lots of pressure, just couldn't finish. Off the one-timer, big save by the goaltender. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. The Oilers have it against the wall. And now it's grabbed by Turris. Sends the pass over. Cassian's got it against the boards. Pushes it across to Pionk. Winnipeg's got the puck in the defensive end. Fails to find the open man. Moves the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Here's a short pass to Wheeler. Oh, what a save in front. Koskinen's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. And the goalie had time to square up as that slap shot takes a little bit of time to set up, but it's a hard one. He makes the stop anyway. The Oilers have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Good hit on the play. Winnipeg's got the puck. That's a good heads-up play at center ice. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Referee Shilovec's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. That turns out to be a bad shift for them as they take no a kidding. couple of penalties on the same play. That's a hole they're going to have to dig out of. No kidding. They're paying for that sort of chaos on the ice there in the last couple moments. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. They deserve this power play. The last couple of shifts, they've been threatening for the tying goal. Finally, they earn a power play. The Oilers have possession shorthanded. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Grabbed along the board by Line. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Blocker save. There's another stop. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Quick pass to Roslovic. Cutting to the slot. And that goes off a player. Edmonton's in now. From point blank. Stick save from the goaltender. From the left side, they gain the zone. Edmonton's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Picked off in the open ice. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Here he is, shot right in front. That opportunity is rejected. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. The replay will show us that he's in good position 
and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. Here in the back half of this period, the Oilers lead it 1-0. Shifley's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Whoa! Scores with the man advantage! Over the last couple of games, the signs were there that this power play was going to break out. They start to move the puck around and don't score. Tonight, they move it around and they do cash in. That's how you score in tight. Take the rebound, take the gift, and put it away right in the top of the net. The centermen glide into position. The Jets win the faceoff. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Oh, what a stop by Koskinen. Through center along the wing. Taken by Nugent Hopkins. Hammers a shot. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. He was locked in there. Edmonton's on the attack. Strong defensive effort. From the right side, they gain the zone. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And the puck leaves the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Handles the puck at the point. And that one's stopped. Can't maintain possession. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Power play set to expire. One last chance here, Ray. Yeah, a quick entry will give them some time in the offensive zone. The Oilers get back to even strength as the penalty killing unit delivers. Really good pressure by the penalty killers there to keep this game tied. They tie up the power play in pretty nice fashion there. And he gets in the lane to block that. Grabs the puck right in front and tries to escape the pressure. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to Stastny. Here's a chance. Nothing. Just misses the net, but the scoring chance is dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. McDavid's going to play it against the half wall. That one's tipped. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. Sharp reaction save. One time blast. Denies him. He got off. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Well past the midway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Winnipeg's won the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Koskinen. Big save by the goaltender once again. Here's a short pass to Cahoon. Takes the pass. Turn that chance aside. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. The Jets take it across the blue line. Centering pass. And he makes the save. Big stop by the keeper. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Here's a rocket of a shot. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. And a strong effort on that play. Quick pass to Appleton. Turns it away. Dreisaitl's caught up with the hook, and the official saw it. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Cops going off for hooking. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit to try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. If you can find a way to get a power play goal here, you can change the momentum of this game. They haven't got one yet tonight. And you find yourself starting to press when you don't score. Puck clears the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. The Oilers work it through center. Routine save made by Hellebuck.
in the final moments of this period, we got a tie game. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. What a block as he lays out in front of it. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. And that one's blocked. Winnipeg's looking to break out. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. We got a minor penalty coming up For here. Sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. The best skaters are the ones that are best on four-on-four on four with that little bit extra room. If you can work yourself into a little two-on-one spot, you can create some chances. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Stopped by the goaltender. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Zooms as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Turn that one aside. And as the penalty expires, they'll go to work now on the man advantage. Stays with it. The Oilers will kill off a few extra seconds now. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Passes on over to Shifley. And now he tries to get it across to Kopp. Winnipeg's moving it along the wing. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. There's the whistle, and this power play will come to an end as another man's off to the box. And the official signaling for hooking on the play. You've got to move your feet here. You're chasing the play. As soon as you stop your feet, you're going to get called. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Kara's won the draw here in the offensive zone. The Oilers take it along the wall. Nice poke check. Winnipeg's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. It's official. Period number one is in the books. Don't miss the chance to see the greatest talents in the world when they visit our city. See the official arena website for details on upcoming concerts. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Period number two now underway. Let's see what this one has in store for us. Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts on this one so far? Edmonton's focus going forward is going to be to hold on to the puck much better than they did in that turnover-prone first period. Battle along the boards. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Gives them nothing in front smothered that in close chance what a stop yeah that's a race to the post the goalie wins it there gets the pad flat to make the save denied that one good clearing attempt to breathe and tries to make a diagonal pass to Nugent Hopkins makes his presence known on the ice still anyone's game as the power play comes up empty-handed too passive not aggressive enough the puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers really doesn't become a dangerous power play. What a steal in his own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And he regains control of the puck. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. Picked up along the wall by Ehlers. 
Can't catch up to the pass. Came up with the save on that play. I loved making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Chason. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Not able to connect. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Thompson's won it off the faceoff. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Battling for it along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. The Oilers have the puck now. Let's it rip. Too much congestion in front. Scooped up along the wall by Thompson. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Puck sent over to Roslevic. Quick feed to Kara. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Quick feed. And now he moves it quickly to Nurse. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Let's the wrister go. Denies him in front. Bully is slowed down with the hook, and the official's arm is in the air. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Oilers have been called for hooking. Even though he's going to argue this, I mean, there's nothing to argue about. His stick gets across the player's midsection. It's a penalty. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Puts it up front on the one-timer. Wide. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Moves it on over to Line A. And they fail to go tape to tape. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Jets have it against the wall. Unloads a shot, denies him in front. Winnipeg's got control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Connor. The Oilers gain possession of the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Jets gain possession along the wall. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Winnipeg's got possession at center. Shot! Oh, what a stop with the stick by Koskinen. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Winnipeg's got the puck. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Slides it over with pace to line A. Move to the middle. Right in the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Dry Seidel's lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to chase on. Puck picked up by Cahoon. Answered the call on that play. Quick pass over to Nurse. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Throws it in. Edmonton's got the puck behind the net. Pass across to Yamamoto. Pass right on the doorstep. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Puck scooped up by Cup, And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Quick pass to Cahoon. And he comes up with it. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. Still lots of time left in the period. We are all tied up in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Cops got the puck along the wing. Forces the turnover. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. 
possession. Off the mask of the goaltender, boy, right between the eyes. Puck possession, so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop by Koskinen. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. Jones draws a penalty as he gets hooked. Whistle blows the play dead. Goaltender can't even get out. Pretty easy call to make. We're hooking right here. Well, he gets a stick around his waist, then he stops skating. It's almost like he's advertising for the penalty. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, the power play gets another opportunity. They haven't been super busy tonight, but here's a chance to get on the board. Moves it to Nurse, and now he moves it to Torres. Right out front, and they can't convert to the play. They fight for it along the boards. Taken along the wall by Appleton. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to DeMello. Moves the puck along the half wall. And he can't hang on after that hit. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Takes the feed. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Nurse is swooping in on the attack. With possession along the wall. Trying to clear the puck. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Tries to get it to Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Neal. Sends it across. Great stop by Hillebuck. Sends a pass over. Now a quick pass to Wheeler. Slides the puck over. Comes up with the stop. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Sends it in deep. Edmonton's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Oilers have it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Here's a short pass to Cassian. That pass doesn't go. Connor's got it across the line. Quick pass to Wheeler. Off the inside of the post and stays out. A game of inches. Oh, that's so close. I'm... Scores! And the deadlock is broken. Oh, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. One-time clap bomb. Beautiful shot. The Jets have taken a one-goal lead here. Kind of surprising the way it's gone. Pretty fortunate to be ahead in a game that they haven't had much of the possession. Yet they were able to capitalize there. Maybe they can get themselves turned. Moves it to McDavid. Let's it go. Comes up with the stop. Number 26, Blake Wheeler. Time of the goal, 14 minutes, 11 seconds. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Winnipeg's got a one-goal lead. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Denies that opportunity. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. The Oilers have it now. Winnipeg's got possession here in the neutral zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Big play inside the defensive zone. Find some space in the corner. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Sends it quickly to Kara. The Oilers move it in. Quick feed to Cassian. Let's it go. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. 
And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Hellebuck's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. Winnipeg's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Made that stop. Passes the puck over to Lowry. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Hangs onto the puck. The Oilers played along the wing. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Taken by Lowry. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Picked up along the boards by Dreisaitl. Bears got the puck in his own zone. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Here in the late goings of the period, Winnipeg's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Turris wins it. Puck grabbed by Nurse. Dumps it in. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Roslovic. Tries to get the puck to Perot. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. The Jets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Good battle along the boards for the puck. And now it's over to Roslovic. Puck picked up by Forbort. Off the left wing and into center. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Oilers have it from their own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Quick pass to Roslovic. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Feeds the puck to McDavid. Coleman's got it in the defensive zone. Connor's got it into offensive territory. Here's a short pass to Morrissey. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Koskinen. Quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. In the second period. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. The best power plays are really varied, James. You don't just shoot it low, you don't shoot it high, you move it around. They got a big shot at the point. I think they got to get there once in a while. And it's a quick pass to Pugliarvi. And that's picked off. Lowry's taking it from his own end. And here's a shot off the crossbar. The Jets are hit with a little bit of bad luck here. This is a really good shot. The puck hits the post, but they're still leading the game. Here he is in front. Can't connect. The Oilers have it in the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights, post-game analysis, player interviews, and vlogs on our team website. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. Time for the opening face-off here in period number three. James Slavalski and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. Winnipeg's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And now he angles it across to Nugent Hopkins. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Gets it out of his own end. The Oilers will play the puck from behind the net. Moves it to Dreisaitl. Gaining momentum along the wing. From the point, they take control of it. The Jets are on the attack. DeMello's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty-killing unit. Well, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. 
The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Keeps hold of the puck. Through center. Great poise here as he gets it back. Shots. Scores! On the rebound, he pops it. I'm pretty impressed that the shooter would even think to shoot it from there. He makes a perfect shot that the goalie's not expecting. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's all tied up. McDavid's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Quick pass across to Wheeler. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Sends it over. Takes it to the net. How did he stop that? Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. The setters will glide into the dot. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Kara. The Oilers take it along the wall. Puts it in deep. The Jets have it behind the cage. And he slides it quickly to Line. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And he slides it quickly to Morrissey. Turns him away! Here's an opportunity in front of the net. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And he sends it across to Cassian. The Jets get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Nurse. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And that one's blocked. Yeah, good positioning, James. He gets up tight to the shooter and snuffs that one. Grabbed along the board by Kara. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Gets the puck over to Perot. The Jets played along the boards. Great defensive effort with the strip. Now he takes it over the line. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Puck battle along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. Handles the puck. Nice zone entry from the right side. Centered out in front. Knocked away. The Oilers have it against the wall. Winnipeg's got the puck here in the open ice. They've got the defense outnumbered. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here's a short pass to Turris. Centering pass! Puts the puck on net. Tremendous stop by Hillebuck. They go on the attack through center. Manages to hang on. Scores! The deadlock's broken. That's a big goal, and they put him into the lead. Man, if you've watched the game, you've seen this play so many times. How many times does it happen? A great opportunity at one end. The puck turns around, and moments later, it's in the other net. Winnipeg's coaches are pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. Shifley's won it. Moves the puck across to Connor. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Picked up along the wall by Pionk. Quick pass to Connor. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save with the stick by Koskinen. Directed over to Jones. Coughs up possession of the puck. Behind the net, looking for the transition game. The Jets will play from the defensive zone. Shifley's picking up steam. Moves it to Wheeler. Shot on net, and there's the save. Koskinen's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. 
These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. Winnipeg's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Takes possession off the draw. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick feed to McDavid. Gains the zone through center. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Here's a shot. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Winnipeg's got it in the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Polia. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Here's an odd man rush. The Jets look to start the transition game. And that pass goes awry. Here's a short pass. To He's got a little jump. Here's a shot. Denies him on the breakaway. Really good speed to get out in front. Dust the pack. Now it's him and the goalie. But the goalie's better. He makes the stop. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Jets are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Gains the zone through the middle. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. And now it's grabbed by Appleton. Here's a chance and makes the save. Koskinen's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. And this is a chance we saw just moments ago. The odd man break puts the goaltender on alert. He has to follow the puck, find the pass, and he makes the stop. Dreisaitl's won it in their own end. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. The Jets take it across the line. Maintains possession. And that's picked off in front. Feeds it on over to Chason. Picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. Nothing doing. That plan didn't work. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Save made by the goalie. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Hellebuck's reflexes are right on here. That's a howitzer that he turns aside. The Jets have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Winnipeg's moving it up the ice. Quick pass to Wheeler. Couldn't complete the play. Denied by the goaltender. Tries to feed it over to Cassian. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Tries to get it over to Kara. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Neal's got it along the wing. Winnipeg's got the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Puck scooped up by Kara. Battle along the boards. Neal stick handling in his own zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Here's a shot. Routine glove stopped by Koskinen. More than half the frame has been played here. Winnipeg's got a 3 2 lead at this point. Turris wins the faceoff. Larson's got it in the defensive end. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. He scores! And that's two in a row! Get one, you stay hungry, you want to stay on your toes. And while the defending team's back on their heels, they throw another one on the board. James, when they look at the film tomorrow, that's not going to look very good. That's a pretty bad error that led to that goal against. Jets have now jumped out to a two-goal lead here in the back half of this third period. How do you manage these final minutes? Not conservatively. I, I'm just not a believer in it. I think you have to play up the ice, be aggressive as much as you can, in particular as the game's gone more and more towards skill. They score! Well, they're not out of it just yet. No, whatever was a glimmer of hope now gets a little brighter. They've got a chance. 
I think he goes down a little quick here, James. Drops into the butterfly. Thinks he's got it covered, but gets beat top bins on the stick side. Edmonton's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. The Jets win the draw here in the neutral zone. Scored by number Wow, deja vu. Man, they got to keep their heads up for this guy. He has been all over the ice and been on the body all game long. Nugent Hopkins plays it into the offensive zone. And that's broken up. And now he moves it quickly to Perot. Through center along the wing. Sent into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Pionk's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. The Oilers with another big opportunity on the power play. Well, you hope they're ready for this opportunity, James, as it shows up yes, as they're trailing by one. Now they get a man in the score! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. The comeback's complete. We're all tied up here. New game, as they say, Ray. Yeah, that was comfortable a little bit ago. Not anymore. Not only did they win the draw cleanly, but they kept everybody away from the shooter. He had plenty of time to tee that up. Edmonton's goal has set up a thrilling finish here in this third period. Really good work to get the game back to level. Now they have to continue to push to find the winner. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Directs it on over to Cajon. Rips it. Quick stop by Hillebuck. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. The Jets looking against the half wall. Now a quick pass to Puglia. Makes a save. Cool and calm under pressure. And another stop. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Hellebuck's turn. He's got to make that save at a critical time. He keeps the game tied. Late goings of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Oilers win the draw. Taken by McDavid. Pass to Pugliarvi. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Let's it go. Denied by Hillebuck. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Jets win the draw. Moves it to Forbort. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Excellent stick work on the play. And that one's broken up. Tries to get the puck over to Line A. Great poke check on the reach. Quick feed to Pugliarvi. At center, takes the pass. Jabs the puck away. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Takes it across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Jones. Nothing doing on that. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Forward. Moves it over to Line A. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Line A's on the attack in the offensive zone. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. And they'll dump it in. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Can't hang on after that hit. They fight for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Line A. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. And that's picked off. Here's a short pass to Kara. Can't find his man. 
Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Looking to set up offensively. One-timer, and that's blocked. Hellebuck's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we got a tie game. Turris wins it in the offensive zone. And that one's broken up. Quick pass to Appleton. Still a tight one here as we approach the final minute of the third. Looking from behind the net, trying to find that open man in front. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. Receives the pass. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Whistle blown, stopping the play. They've been trying to cut out the clutching and grabbing, and this is a pretty clear-cut case here. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get away with this very often unless you can shield the official from view, but holding call is the right one. Another man advantage opportunity looms. Can they take advantage? Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Oh, slick work with the glove by Hellebuck. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Edmonton's won the draw and they'll go to work. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Nice pass. The Jets gain possession of the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Slides it across to Yamamoto. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Strong defensive effort. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. If you're going to make the save as the goalie does here, you've got to read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. The centermen glide into position. Still nothing solved as the third period comes to an end. We've got overtime looming. Every playoff game, our team store brings you our item of the game. Stay warm and stylish here at the rink with a scarf tonight priced at just $10. Make sure to stop off at any team store here at the arena. Pick up your specially priced item. We'll take game. a quick break. OT next. Hurry as supplies are limited. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro. This is what we live for. Overtime, let's go. The Oilers start the period off on the right note, winning the draw, and their man advantage unit gets going. Winnipeg's penalty killers get a hold of it. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Dumps it into the Ozone. Edmonton's looking to break out. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Sends one over, and they can connect. Slides into Polia. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Oilers have it against the wall. Puck grab by Neal. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Here's a shot. No room for that one to get through. The Oilers fail to score, and overtime rolls on. Sometimes the opportunity shows up at a really critical point. Here you are in overtime. You got a power play and they don't cash in. Big miss. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Slides it quickly to McDavid, and he coughs it up with the pass. Can't keep a hold of it. 
and tries to make a diagonal pass to DeMello. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a chance. Slides it across, and he rings the post. Edmonton's looking for a little good fortune. They're not going to find it there. Off the post and out again. A critical draw here. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. Whoa. He scores! It is over! That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. They've got the lead in the series now as a result of a little OT magic. Certainly puts them in a great spot here. The series go by quickly in these overtime games. While they still mean the same as a regular time game, they feel like they carry a little more weight. Wait a couple of these OT winners. They got a couple in one series. They were fun and they're awesome uh, to help your team win a series. They talk about wanting to have more fun in the sport. This is a perfect example of that step forward. Well, when the players started saluting the fans, you could almost feel like the connection between the two of them started to increase. I think it's a great thing to do, and look how much fun everybody's having. Great playoff action tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll talk to you next time where the fun will continue.